Jason Leno here. Today I want to touch base on diets. And the reason why I want to do that is because honestly, there is a plethora full of information out there when it comes to any sort of dieting, whether it's gaining weight, maintaining weight, or losing weight. Like some of the top that come to mind right now will say is if it fits your macros, so flexible dieting. This is a style of diet where yeah, I'd say it's the most popular first and foremost, but it's where you can pretty much eat whatever you want just as long as it fits your daily macro intake. So as long as it fits your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fat goals towards whether gaining weight or losing weight. Up front, ultimately, this is the perfect diet just because, well, let's be honest, you can eat whatever you want and still get away with whether losing weight or gaining weight just as long as it fits your macros. Downside of this is, well, you're not always gonna get the most micronutrient diet because you're just gonna be focusing on your big three, so protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And let's be honest, sugar is carbohydrates. So if you just pound a bunch of sugar, you can essentially get away with it. It's not always the best thing, in my opinion at least. And another thing is you kinda of have to be really particular about tracking your macros like you have to focus and focus and focus which can be a pain in the butt however the longer you're in the game the easier it becomes another one i'd say it's just as almost as popular as flexible diet at least right now is keto keto is one that a lot of people utilize to well lose weight because the concept is you eat a protein you eat a lot of fat you eat absolutely no carbs pretty much and the reason why you want to do that is because Carbohydrates, when you metabolize them, creates glycogen, which can be then stored as fat and utilized as energy. So the concept is once you subtract those carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, I should say, and you reduce that glycogen level, your body will then have to create another energy source. So that's where keto comes involved because your body will then create ketones, which is synthesized from the natural fatty acids stored within your body. Basically, fat. So it'll utilize your fat to fuel your body. It's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, however, I'm not the biggest fan of no carb because carbs are pretty important in my opinion. Uh, they're very beneficial towards like brain function, things like that. But with time, like all the other diets, your body can more or less get used to that. And we'll go to the extreme that I chose to take on, and that is veganism. Being a vegan, you don't consume any animal byproducts. No milk, no eggs, no meat, no nothing. All you really do is essentially carb load on a regular basis. Now, a lot of people choose to do this for ethic reasons, but if you're looking at a health standpoint, a lot of people choose to do it because A, uh, a lot of foods these days are really, really just filled full of unnecessary fats and unnecessary chemicals to, well, preserve the foods, things of that nature. And not everybody's cup of tea. Um, my point of view on it was, well, I constantly felt ill just from eating dairy uh, and meat, we'll say, mostly dairy. But And then I retracted that and that's when I became vegan. And I, for the most part, I feel pretty good. However, it's not everybody's cup of tea because let's be real. Uh, when I originally did it, I went cold turkey and I lost a bunch of weight. And it took me a pretty long time to get the weight back on. I didn't always have the smartest approach, but I eventually put it back on, hence where I am today. Now, the end point of this video is despite having all different kinds of diets, the best diet for you is the one, honestly, that just works. Whether it is flexible dieting, keto, veganism, whatever. Don't be afraid to just go out there and give it a try. And then find out what fits best for you. Because I've went 
if it fits your macros. I went high calorie. I never went keto because I'll be honest, I'm more of a fan of carbs than I am of protein. But I've done a lot and that's why I'm in the position that I am today because I have found what works best for me, what makes me feel good. That's pretty much it. There is no picture perfect diet. The best one, honestly, is the diet that works for you, that hits the goals that you want. So guys, hopefully that helps. It's not crazy knowledgeable information. It's kind of just me telling you to, well, try something new, but that's honestly how you're gonna learn. So either way, guys, do me the favor, go down below, drop me some comments, because I'd love to hear what you have to say. I would like you guys to all sit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love, and I will see you next time.